Uh, we specialize in uh, moving pianos, uh, large ones, small ones, grand pianos, uh, sometimes a nine-footer, which would be about 1,200 pounds. Uh, if the piano move is uh, too difficult, we'll, we subcontract with a crane. Occasionally, uh, we have to uh, take smaller pianos up the staircase with a curve. Or we'll put it on Phil's back, and it can be a little tricky. Uh, when I first started out, we had a couple older pianos, about 800 pounds, and we have to put them vertically and uh, put it on my buddy's, my friend's back, and it slipped off a couple times. But we were lucky; it got wedged uh, on the railing and the jip rock. We got away with it. But through the years, I learned how to move the pianos uh, correctly using a crane or we'll grab a third guy and uh, it can be quite hard at times uh, but most times it's uh, not too difficult. Uh, occasionally we come across moving grand pianos um, normally uh, it's not too difficult we slide it up the steps and in we go but occasionally um, if it's an elevator job the, the piano is seven One, feet long it two, won't fit three. in the elevator. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. So if it doesn't go on the elevator flat, horizontally, we, we have to flip it on its side. And these pianos can be maybe 900 pounds. And we're balancing on the, uh, the, uh, the keyboard rail, which is maybe only about three inches wide. And so we have to slide it in and we, we have to watch the balance. Occasionally we have to do that. Um, and to usually move in a grand piano, it's not too difficult. We take off the pedal assembly, one leg, Two, six, flip it on the uh, skid, uh, wrap it up, and uh, off we go. No, 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 no. Little, little tap. There we go.